Hi, and today we'll talk about NEO, an open source blockchain platform. And to be more specific, about NEO N3, which is a completely redesigned governance model that will move NEO toward a more decentralized future. We'll tell you about the features of the platform, the governance model, and more. In this video, we'll let you in on a few secrets that are sure to be useful to you. Watch carefully. We are getting started. NEO 3.0 was first announced by Eric Jang in July 2018. He promised many things, such as a new architecture, proper drink contracts, and an improved economic model. Decentralized storage, oracles, and a name service are just some of the features that will make NEO the most complete blockchain development platform to date. NEO Blockchain is a digital asset and application platform that provides the new NEO contract smart contract system. At the core of the platform, the NEO network provides many features, such as digital asset capabilities, NEO asset and a digital identity, NEO ID allowing users to easily participate in digital business and is no longer limited to issuing their tokens on the blockchain. The NEO N3 update will give developers access to rich data sources offline via HTTPS or NEO FS requests. This will not only improve smart contracts on the blockchain, but also allow the creation of new decentralized services and products. Moreover, users can share their unused data storage to earn NEO guest tokens, creating a network for everyone. NEO is an open-source, community-driven blockchain platform. It is the most functionally complete blockchain platform for creating decentralized applications. NEO allows developers to digitize and automate asset management with smart contracts. It also provides powerful proprietary infrastructure such as decentralized storage, oracles, and a domain name service, creating a solid foundation for the next generation of the internet. On the NEO blockchain, users can register, trade and distribute different types of assets. The connection between digital and physical assets can be proven with a digital identity. Assets registered with a verified digital identity are legally protected. NEO has two forms of digital assets – global assets and contract assets. Global assets can be recorded in the system space and can be identified by all smart contracts and customers. Contracts assets are recorded in a private smart contract repository and require a compatible client to recognize them. Contract assets can meet certain standards to ensure compatibility with most clients. NEO uses the lightweight NEO VM as a smart contract execution environment that runs very fast and requires very few resources, which is ideal for short programs such as smart contracts. Using JIT compilation and caching of assets point smart contracts can greatly improve the efficiency of virtual machines. Token migration is a critical milestone for launching NEO N3. In general, migration consists of creating a new address on NEO N3 and sending your NEO legacy tokens via a migration contract. The contract will then release the NEO N3 tokens to your new address on NEO N3 at a 1 to 1 ratio. Early bird migration. Users can begin migrating their NEO and GAS tokens from NEO Legacy to NEO N3 starting from the 9th of August. NEO token holders can also start participating in management for GAS rewards. Mass Migration A token migration incentive program will run from September 1st to October 31st, offering bonus NEO tokens to users who migrate during that period. Rewards will start at 1% and decrease over 8 weeks. The main benefit of the early bird migration is the opportunity to be among the first to vote in NEO's new governance system. Under the rules of NEO new economic structure, the majority of newly created gas is distributed to NEO token holders who successfully vote for a NEO board member. Because fewer NEO tokens will be used to vote in early bird phase, the gas will be split among fewer NEOs and may yield a higher than normal rate of gas generation. However, at this time there will probably be very limited support for N3 from external service providers such as wallets and exchanges. This may mean that you cannot transfer or even save your new N3 tokens using your preferred wallet. Since you can't go back to NEO legacy, it could 
also mean that you can't trade your N3 NEO and gas tokens until the exchanges have integrated support for N3. In addition, N3 may not will still be in the setup phase until the end of August. Although NEO has already determined that the current build will be stable and ready for public use, various infrastructure components will continue to run for a month. The company does not expect any outages and no facilities will be at risk, but it is possible that some unforeseen problem could delay integration support for certain features or vendors. The Neo Frontier Launchpad program was designed to encourage developers to launch new projects on the Neo N3. A total of $105,900 in prizes, as well as incubation opportunities, were awarded to the top 11 entries. All winners will receive an individual Neo package as part of the Neo Early Adopter program. These packages are designed to reward participants for continued development after the contest ends and will be released based on certain milestones set by NGD Eco Growth. Two months ago, Neo reached out to early adopters who were willing to be among the first to create N3-based apps. More than 670 developers responded to the call. In all, participants submit 60 plans and 58 projects during the contest. These dApps leveraged many of N3's new features such as native oracles and Neo FS demonstrating functionality never before possible on a single chain. Participants were the first to use many tools developed by the global community, including the Neo Blockchain Toolkit, Neo Python Suite, Neo 3J, and many others. In doing so, they provided critical feedback to help improve the Neo developer experience and provide real-world examples of dApps that will benefit the next wave of N3 pioneers. RentFuse is a layer of protocol that allows Neo N3 NFT owners to rent out their assets. Owner can lend NFTs for income, and borrowers can rent NFTs for tax. Temporary use. The smart contract manages NFT, lease agreements between owners and lessees, and provides a functional interface for other contracts to interact with leased assets. In addition, NFTs do not change ownership throughout the lease process, which eliminates the risk of not returning the asset. Larry Bird intends to be a community owned synthetic asset platform that can mint interchangeable tokens tied to the value of the world currencies, securities, crypto assets, and anything else that can have a well-defined price. One of the most notable changes to Neo N3 is a completely redesigned governance model that will move Neo toward a more decentralized future. As of the 9th of August, Neo holders who have transferred their tokens to Neo N3 can begin participating in governance. In Neo N3, Neo holders have the right to elect a 21-member Neo Council to govern the Neo blockchain. The Neo Council consists of board members and consensus nodes that provide services, maintain the network, and adjust critical parameters of the blockchain. Neo holders receive gas tokens for successfully voting for a council member. Anyone is free to register as a candidate for the council. This is an important step toward NEO's decentralized goal. To ensure the early stability of the NEO N3 mainnet, the NEO Foundation is looking for candidates to become initial members of the NEO Council. The primary goal is to ensure that the initial members of NEO Council have a fundamental understanding of the NEO platform and are technically capable of performing their duties. The global development will send up to 10 candidates to the NEO Council. Their remaining seats will be filled by the NEO Foundation, including seven consensus nodes. This will be default composition of the NEO Council at the launch of Mainnet. NEO holders can immediately begin voting for candidates who will receive increased gas generation rates. Interested parties can also start registering as candidates on the network and been collecting votes. NEO Council will remain in the default setting until 20% of the total number of circulating NEOs are used for voting. Once the 20% threshold is reached, NEO Council adapts to the will of the people. Five gases generated for each new block 
lock-in will be rewarded to both voters and new council members. 10% of the issued gas will be distributed evenly among the 21 new council members, while consensus nodes will also receive network fees packed into each newly generated block. New council members also have the right to customize blockchain parameters, such as system fees, and the ability to select other roles in the chain, such as Oracle nodes. NEO has initiated several support streams to develop the NEO ecosystem, offering different types of assistance, depending on the needs, interests, and maturity of your project. Options are available for grassroots developers, startup projects, established businesses, institutions, and everything in between. Despite its ability to host a variety of large-scale commercial applications, NEO M3 still faces the challenge of encouraging more projects to adapt the brand new system and take advantage of M3 in the Ethereum era. To encourage developers to take it to the next level, NEO is launching an early adoption program on the updated platform. This program includes sponsorship in the form of grants totaling $10 million for qualified projects and will run from June throughout September 2021. In addition to project grants, Eligible teams will also receive technical and operational support. The early adoption program is designed to achieve the following goals. Encourage more new projects to participate early in the development of the Neo M3 ecosystem and become initial users of the platform. Encourage projects to leave feedback on Neo M3 to ensure continued optimization of the platform. Continuously reinvigorate the Neo developer community by helping existing projects on Neo through the migration process. Get the Neo M3 infrastructure structure up and running quickly while raising awareness. NEO has made great strides over the past few years, but the company isn't going to stop there. The future of blockchain is more exciting than ever, and NEO N3 confirms their passion as well as marks a fresh start from NEO. Thus, the early introduction is aimed at reuniting old friends as well as attracting new developers and projects. Thank you for watching this video, stay tuned for more videos.